Yo, 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 guys, it is RDS here, back again, and I know it's late, I know it's delayed, but we're going to get into the African Cup of Nations, the biggest African tournament starting this week. Before we get into it, if you are new to channel, to like, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter at WeUnitedX and smash that notification button to let us know we're going live. We are going to be covering this competition as well as the Asian Cup, getting the videos in thick and fast, and today I'm talking about what I think, in my personal opinion, um, our, my sort of AFCON 23 predictions. We're going to be talking about who I think are the favourites, group stage, um, uh, best third place teams, and finally who I think are going to be the top goal scorers in the competition as well. So let's go into my right. Obviously, you can see the uh, the obviously the final draw, the groups, group A to group F, and we're going to go for each group in turn. And basically, I'm going to give you and I'm going to emphasize this. It's my opinion. Okay. It's my opinion. I'm not an, ex an expert elite or whatever, but it's my opinion. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, guys. I'm so interested and so fascinated to see um, what you guys think in the comments as well. Um, so let's basically get in. Let's let's get straight into it. So first things first, let me just quickly go and talk about um, who I think are the AFCON uh, favorites. And I think based on what I would say, you know, current FIFA ranking um, and also the form, I would say I've got a couple of favorites. I've got at least at least four favorites. Okay, I think the first thing first is you've got to think. Of, you've got to look about look at um, Egypt. Okay, obviously we know Egypt have won the most African Cup of Nation trophies. They did go into the final uh, last season. They've got on Mohamed Salah now, who is in incredibly good form, going to his country, serving his nation. Obviously defensively, um, they're always there. Um, I think I think Egypt definitely have a chance. They've got to be certainly amongst one of the favourites, given the history, given the performance last time, and given the fact that they have, you know, one of the best players um, in in Mohamed Salah. And like I said, defensively, I think they're quite astute going into this tournament. So um, I think you've got to look at Egypt as definitely being one of the favourites in this competition. Ivory Coast obviously are going to be one of the favourites as well. They are the host country, which obviously means they're granted automatic qualification to come into the tournament. They are, um, you know, while I think, obviously, in recent years, I mean, I think the last time they won the AFCON was in, uh, was it in 2015? I think 2015, I think. 2015, I think they won the AFCON, I think. Um, but, you know, as the host country, you know, there's going to be pressure on the team. But, you know, the form coming to the tournament, I think, has been okay. And I think, given the, the backing that they are the host country, I think that they, you, you've got to count Ivory Coast with quality that they, that they have. As one of the nations that can be that potentially um, get the title, um, then obviously Senegal, Senegal man, you know Senegal obviously are the current champions um, of the Afcon. Um, they have obviously have a strong team. Obviously Sadio Mane, though he's obviously in um, in Saudi Arabia now, um, is obviously going to be there. It's always going to be a threat. Um, you know, can they uh, can they repeat the same feat? I'm not entirely sure, but you know. You've got to give Senegal a chance, to be honest, you know. So I certainly think that, especially with a lot of their players, you know, obviously been seasoned players, a mixture of young and and an old professional players that play, in, obviously in Europe and what have you. Um, Senegal, I I still think is a side that can potentially cause problems, and I consider favourite. Now, last but not least, <laughs> um, and, and maybe it's the bias here, but I've got to say Nigeria. You know. Um, as a Nigerian, I am worried about this team. Um, I think the keeper, and we get to the we get to the group in a second. We'll get to we'll get to Group A in a second. I am worried um, about um, this team. I am, <laughs> but you know, they have to have a chance, surely. You know, with the attacking quality that they have, you know, with the fact that this is obviously the biggest stage. With you know, um, Nigeria are one of the most successful African Cup of Nations uh, teams in history. Um, you know, Victor Oshiman, you know, is that a dude? I mean, okay, yes, in the previous tournament, you know, they started the group stage really, really well. There was a shock against Tunisia, um, obviously the red card, etc. I'd like to think that this team has learned and will progress going forward. Um, so I, I you know, and there are a lot of people in the comments that would say don't put faith in this team, and probably you're probably right. You're probably right, especially because I make a case, I'm going to make a case soon, that Group A is arguably one of, if not the group of death, given the teams that are there. But you've got to say Nigeria, you've got to say Nigeria favourite. That's that's you've got one of their favourites anyway. That's what I think anyway. So let me get into what let me get into uh, my let's say group stage um 
a, a predictions of who I think has gone obviously going to um, qualify. So first of all, let's go into Group A. So Group A, obviously, you've got Ivory Coast, uh, Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria, Equatorial Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau. Um, like I said, this is a tough group, you know. So I think the obviously we've already talked about Nigeria and Ivory Coast in terms of why I think they could be some of the favourites going to tournament. But the the Guineas are no slouches. I think Equatorial Guinea are coming into this um, tournament, I think, nine games unbeaten. And Guinea-Bissau always seem to, when they come in, um, do okay. So I think this is actually quite a difficult group to call. Um, you know, will Ivory Coast let the home pressure of the tournament get to them? Um, you know, obviously, we need to bear in mind that it's the best third-place teams as well. So the way that teams are going to play could be different. I don't anticipate this group being a very high scoring affair in terms of groups maybe a few, a few draws here i won't be surprised a one nil here a two one here i don't expect a lot of high scoring games in this competition despite the fact that the nigerian side obviously have a lot of potent finishes and strikers um if i if i would have to hedge a bet <coughs> with how i think um if i were to rank them i would probably say um and again just my opinion here that Ivory Coast probably will top the group. Um, I think Nigeria, um, again, host tax. Nigeria with a second. Um, I think Equatorial Guinea with a third. And then Gu Guinea-Bissau with four. But I wouldn't be surprised if Equatorial Guinea, who, like I said, I think potentially could be dark horses going through into this tournament, gets gets second, maybe even get first, you know, ahead of, say, ever Nigeria, for example, if they don't, you know, start well and take the tournament seriously. You know, so so that is who I would I would I would say certainly for Group A um, as my um, as my as my group favorites obviously going 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 through um, Group B um, Egypt Ghana Cape Verde Mozambique um, again obviously I think I think the way that it looks it's, 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 this image presents image it's, it's pretty much going my prediction I think Egypt will top the group um, I don't think there's you know. I think Ghana's preparation going into this a bit looks a bit has been a bit sketchy. Um, so I think Egypt will top the group. Um Mozambique have been all right. Mozambique and, and for some and ah don't know this one, you know. So because Cape Verde, you know, are no when for some reason when it comes to AFCON, they seem to show up. They seem to show up, they're no slouches. So this is a you know, I'm gonna go for my safe bets. <laughs> my safe bets. Um, I'm going to go for my safe bets here. Um, so I think that it will be Egypt and then Ghana second. Um, and then the Cape Verde or Mozambique. Hmm. My mind says Mozambique, but my heart says Cape Verde, I think, will come third. I don't know. I just feel like they I, they always seem to impress in AFCON, and I think they might be able to get the one up on Mozambique here. So I'm going to go I'm going to go with um, Cape, uh, Cape Verde in third place, uh, and then we, and we go on. Um, Group C, um, Senegal, Cameroon, Guinea, and the Gambia. Um, again, you know, like I said, Senegal. I think will. Senegal. I think will top this group. I think they've got the quality to top this group. Obviously, you know, Mane and them popping off. Although, obviously, a lot of these players like Kouba etc. are playing in uh, in in um in uh, in Saudi Arabia. But I still think they have the quality enough to top this group, and I think top this group quite comfortably. Cameroon form has actually been fa fairly decent recently, so I think that Cameroon actually um Cameroon actually have a shout. I think um. Coming to this, and I and I think they'll come second. Guinea will be interesting. I mean, obviously, Guinea are playing a game. Uh, I, th I think they might play today against Nigeria. I'm not entirely sure what the score was. Someone let me know. That might change my predictions. <laughs> so let me know in the comments, guys. Um, so and obviously the the the, 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 the Gambia. Um, so I think that as it stands right now, I think that um, I mean, like I said, the Guineas are threats. The Guineas are threats. And again, would I be surprised if Guinea were able to, say, come second in this group, even potentially top of the group? No, I would not. Um, Guinea are a threat. They are a threat. Um, but I think I'll, again, go to Seifu and say Senegal, Cameroon, Guinea, and then the Gambia um, being um, 
being fourth. That is what I would personally um, do. Um, uh, group D, obviously, we're almost done with the, the, group, the group stages. Algeria, Burkina Faso, Mauritius, and Angola. And again, um, you know, Algeria, obviously, um, you know, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Um, and this is a tough group. This is a tough group. You know, Burkina Faso, again, always seem to show up when it comes to um, uh, the AFCON. And actually, I think that Burkina Faso, one of the teams where with this new um, with the amount of teams that are going to be uh, space being off offered to the World Cup's African teams, I think Burkina Faso actually may show up and qualify for the next World Cup in the USA calendar. Um, Angola, again, I think um, are like are, are a threat. I think, um, but I think you know, again, you got to look at you got to look at Algiers. I think the Algiers, but again, potentially low key, low key also favour. I didn't mention them at the start, but Algiers potentially are low key favourite. Um, you know, to to potentially win this competition, you can't write out Alger Algeria, I think, um, at all. Um, so bear that in mind. Um, so I think actually I would rank this group. I'd go um, Algeria, Burkina Faso, um, Angola, and then Mauritius. That's what I would. That's that's what I would go in terms of the Group D um, approach. Um, group E, obviously, you've got Tunisia, Mali, um, South Africa. Uh, and, Namib uh, and Namibia. Um, I again. Um, I mean, I'm still getting PTSD from Tunisia knocking out Nigeria, so I won't be surprised if. Um, I mean, obviously, it's it's been it's been further on. So, but um, I think that Tunisia, South Africa, Mali probably have the best chance of qualifying from this group. Um, <coughs> I'm not. If I'm honest, I'm not entirely sure what order. I would probably say. Um, based on you know recent form, um, and I suspect this is probably one of the groups where the best loser will probably but I'll come to that later. I would probably say that it's probably going to be um, Tunisia, um, South Africa, uh, Mali, and then Namibia. That's who I think is probably going to qualify um, from this group. But again, I'm quite happy to revisit these predictions afterwards and let me know what you think about these predictions in the comments. You know. Now, finally, finally, Group F. Group F, um, you've got Morocco, Democrats of Pongo, Zambia, and, and Tanzania. And obviously, people still remember um, Morocco is, Morocco's um, um, World Cup performances of, uh, with the, as a United fan. you got my, my, my guy Amrabat, you know, amongst other players. Um, so, you know, Morocco, I think, you know, have to be do you consider them a, a, a tournament favourite? Outside chance, dark horses, possibly, given obviously what we saw in Qatar. Um, and but can they build on that? Um, but again, DR Republic and Zambia are no slouch as either. Zambia in, in in particular. Um, you know, Tanzania, mm, I'm not really sure to be honest. I probably I, I suspect they'll probably finish bottom. Um, so if I had to make a prediction. Morocco, Zambia, DR Congo, and Tanzania uh, would be my predictions um, for this group. Well, Tanzania obviously finished finishing bottom of the group. So obviously, those are my overall group stage predictions going from Group A to Group F. Um, I think following that, who do I think are going to be the four best third place teams? Because obviously, the top two automatically qualify, and then you have four best third place teams that then combine together, and then we start with our round of sixteen quarterfinals, etc., etc., etc. So right off the bat, looking at these these teams, I'm probably going to say, um, based on my predictions, Equatorial Guinea, um, Cape Verde, um, Guinea, and... Who's the fourth? Who's the fourth? Who's the fourth? Who's the fourth? Um, it's been for me it's between DR Conga and Angola. No, actually, mm. no. I'm going to give it to I'm going to give it to Mali, Mali. I'm going to give it to Mali. It's between Mali and and, and Angola for me. I'm not some common, but I'm going to probably edge it and give it and get and give it to Mali. I think 
as the fourth best third place, uh, fourth best third place teams that will join the group uh, group winners, as previously discussed, into the round of sixteen. Um, finally, finally, guys, um, just to round things up, because I don't want this video to go on for too long. Who do I predict are going to be the top? Who are the favorites of them to be? Basically, who's going to get the golden boot? Who's going to get the golden boot? Who's going to be the Afcon top scorers? Now, obviously, I've got to be biased here. You know, my first bet prediction is Victor Oshman. Victor Oshman, arguably voted Afcon's best player of the year, killing it last season with Napoli, although Napoli aren't doing that great <laughs> this season. Um, he, he's got to be up there. Victor Oshman is one of the most informed strikers in world football right now. Um, he's an elite striker. He's a national icon. Um, you know, a, a lot of Premier League teams want this guy. As a United fan, I want this guy. There are a lot of Premier League teams that want Victor Oshiman. They want this guy. Um, but obviously, the Napoli president has other ideas. So Victor Oshiman, for me, has to be up there um, as one of the favourites to be top goal scorer. Um, the likes of Saudi Mane, obviously. Um, uh, Saudi Mane's got to be Saudi Mane's got to be there. Um, so, now, I would say Salah. But the thing is, the way that Egypt play, I don't think plays to um, Salah's strengths. And I don't think we see a lot of goals from Salah, especially quite defensive. So even though, in theory, Salah should be there, I don't think he will be. And obviously, the Cameroonian Vincent Abubakar, man. Abubakar carrying this Cameroonian team at times. Abubakar doing his thing. So personally for me, um, I think you've got to look at someone like Vincent Abub Abubakar um, as as also a favor for top top score as well. But again, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. So that is my AFCON 2023-21 predictions, guys. Remember, if you are new to the channel, to like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. We're going to be pumping up more AFCON kick combination content, Asian uh, Cup content, as well as doing live match watch-alongs. So remember, like, share, and subscribe below. Have a nice day, everyone, and cheers. Peace.